Can you tell me where I can find Miss French, the teacher? Second floor, I believe it's room 213. Thank you. Is, um, she teaching class now? The period will be over in a few minutes. Now, we have time for a few more questions. Wally? Miss French, do you think that uh, Emil Zola was immoral? No, I don't at all. Even when writing about depraved people, his attitude was essentially moral. But he had a mistress, didn't he? Well, you'll have to take that up with Mrs. Zola. <laughs> well, a friend of mine believes that literary men have, well, different standards. It seems to me that if it's all right for them, it should be all right for anybody else. Well, I don't agree with your friend, Wally. But it is true, I believe, that good writers feel more deeply than the rest of us. They have greater appetites for life. If I'd known Poe, I would undoubtedly have been repelled by his drinking. But I would have tried to understand him. Just as I would have tried to understand Dr. Johnson for his gluttony, De Quincey for using drugs, and Baudelaire for his neurotic promiscuity. They were big men, big in weakness, Bigger in strength. Are you Miss French? Yes. I'm Jenny Moorhead. You don't know me, but I know you. At least I know about you. Uh, I'd kind of like to talk to you about something. Well, what can I do for you? <laughs> Gee, you don't look like a school teacher. Thank you. I assume that was a compliment. Oh, sure. Uh, may I sit down? Of course. You want to tell Dave I've been here with you, because he'll skin me alive if he knowed I was. Is he a friend of yours? Yeah. I'm not going to take up much of your time, Miss French. But you see, he's coming back today, and there's something I just got to know. Are you going to marry him? Am I what? i got to know how things stand, that's all. Well, I'm not sure I can... Miss French, uh, let me explain. You see, I think he's in love with you. And if you're going to marry him, then I'll clear out. But if it's just one of them things. Are you from Chicago? Yeah. Yeah, did he tell you about me? No, I read the papers. Oh, oh, golly, wasn't that terrible? I knew I shouldn't have come, but... Oh, I'm very crazy about him, you see, Miss French. And this is the God's truth. I want him to have what he wants. Even if it means you instead of me. I assume Mr. Hirsch discussed me with you, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Oh, no, that's not so. Oh, he never said nothing. I kept asking him and asking him, but he never said nothing. Here and in Terre Haute and in Indianapolis, but he never said nothing. You were on that trip? Yeah. Oh, but he ain't in love with me, Miss French. <sighs> I wish he was. I, I'd give my right eye if he was. I never felt like this about nobody in my whole life. It just touches me and I, I fall apart. I do wish you wouldn't cry. Whatever you may have imagined, or whatever Dave himself may have told you, there's absolutely nothing between Mr. Hirsch and myself. I've helped him a little with his writing, nothing else. Consequently, I'm not your rival. <sighs> oh. oh, Miss French, I'm glad I come then. Oh, I was so scared. You don't know how scared I was. Because I know you could take him away from me if you want to. Because I ain't rich or smart like you. I haven't got nothing. Ugh. <laughs> 
Not even a reputation. I'm sure you have a reputation, Miss Moorhead. Well, that's one thing. Don't bother Dave none. I don't like to be rude, but my next class is coming in now, and I... Oh, I'll go. You ain't sorry at me for coming. In a way, I'm grateful. Grateful? <laughs> I don't know why, Miss French. But thank you. Thanks awfully much. Now, you won't say nothing not to nobody, will you? Nobody. <sighs> oh, goodbye, Miss French. <laughs> <laughs> 